Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Shaka from Shaka Reacts and today we've got another music teacher reaction and analysis video for you. We're going to be looking today at Rumstein and their performance of Fjord Free. I hope I'm saying that right? Question <laughs> mark? Let's get into it, shall we? Well, this is an interesting beginning. Ooh, I like that car riff. I like this. Man, that's a cool opening. Like between the uh, the real real subtle, very different than normal uh, when it comes to uh, to to Rumstein and the stuff that we heard from them. The beginning is so different than what we're used to. And then, man, when they just start really laying in with that that guitar riff, dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum, that's just such a cool little riff that they've got going on there. I I want to rewind again, guys, because I just want to hear that again. Uh, like I said, focus on that guitar riff if you guys aren't hearing that dum da dum ba dum ba dum ba da ba da ba dum. Really, really cool little riff that they've got going on there. Plus the set, really the rhythm in the in the break that he's playing through that really hits that so well. Really cool beginning here. This sounds so out of place compared to the rest of it. <laughs> but it fits really well. Oh, ooh, that siren. That siren's really cool too. I like that a lot. That is such a great art. That's such a great groove, man. That's also super brilliant, uh, how they have that siren effect descending down through that too. Uh, I've talked about uh, quite a few times in some different videos that we've done here, um, how I love the kind of that sliding escalating effect in music where it's it's a, it like more of a pitch bend is what we tend to call it. Um, uh, where it's like, it basically it's a glissando. It's a real gradual glissando up into a pitch or in this case, descending down into a pitch. It's really cool. Like it kind of adds this level of like chaos and stuff that's going on. It, it fits so well with that groove. Really, really cool. Like, um, Juxtaposition, juxtaposition of stuff going on there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep going, guys. I just, just some really, really cool stuff. I love that opening. That's so good. That's a cool little keyboard part there. Uh, before we get back into the main chorus section, guys, listen to that keyboard part. That's really neat. Uh, it almost sounds like a theremin. Uh, like, I don't know if he's using a specific patch or an effect there, but it sounds, especially when we get up into the higher register that he's playing in, it almost sounds like a theremin. That's really, really neat. Um, also, another thing I should, I should mention uh, is just his diction, guys. It's so clean. He's so good. So good at that clean, 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 clear just diction that he's got going on. Really neat. Now listen to this top keyboard part. Man, I 
Yeah, again, that descending and ascending lines going on again, too. I love that. I'm curious, so that keyboard part that we just heard there, I'm curious, for those of you that have seen them live, I, I know that they are renowned for their live performances. So that part that we just heard, I'm assuming that is on the keyboard and that that is not some kind of post-production effect that they're doing there. If that's the case, I, I would be intrigued to know, is he always doing the same rhythm there? Because it's a really weird rhythm. Uh, or is it more of a he's just improving on a, on a, on that section? It sounds to me like he's just improving. Uh, you know, he's just kind of it's a one note improv. Ironically enough, he just picked one note and is just improving a rhythm on that note. To me, it sounds more like it's an improv. But uh, I'd be intrigued to know those of you guys that have seen this live is is that consistently the same rhythm that we have there, or is it does it change from show to show? Um, you know, showing that he is improv improving it. Uh, well, we're gonna rewind just a hair so I can kind of point that section out to you guys specifically what I'm referring to with that here. Um, man, some of these some of these drum fills are really good too. Really clean, crystal clear drum fills. Really impressive. We're gonna go right about here, guys. I love that counter melody too. That's really cool. So coming up now, this. Right here. You know what? Now that I listen to that a second time, I actually don't think that's a, a keyboard at all. I think it's a guitar with uh, with some with some patch effects going on there. Um, I thought it was a keyboard the first time I listened to it. Yeah, yeah. Let me know, guys. If you guys have seen these guys live, is that is that something that is uh, more you know more of a, a digital computer effect that they've messed with in in a uh, post processing kind of a program thing, or is that actually being performed live on the guitar? If that's being performed live, and again, I, I would have to assume that's a guitar with some kind of a patch effect doing that. Th that's really cool. Really, really neat. Um, I, I almost don't know how he's playing that. Yeah, I wish we could like see that actually happening. The fact that we can only hear it kind of makes it hard to distinguish what it is. Because we also hear the woo -woo 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 kind of an effect going on there. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best I can make of it. Woo -woo -woo. Uh, kind of like a Larry Curly Mo kind of a thing. Uh, that to me sounds more like the keyboard than it does um, anything else. Again, it could be some kind of a post production computer, you know, thing. Um, but. Most of that solo to me sounds like a guitar with some weird effects. So right there, that woo -woo -woo -woo. that outside of that, the rest of it I'm pretty sure is guitar. That is so high though. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know if a guitar can play that high. <laughs> I guess it probably could. I don't know off the top of my head, though. Uh, like, like I said, guys, let me know if you guys have seen this performance live. What what exactly is happening in that section? Is that guitar playing? And if so, is that improv and that changes from show to show, which I'm assuming it does? Or is that actually played every single time? Because that's really impressive if they can replicate that every single time. Really impressive. All right, we're going to keep going this time, guys. That was 
cool. What a masterclass in in creating like storytelling through your music and keeping your audience engaged. When you go, so so whenever we judge, uh, you know, adjudicate is the other word for it. Performances of of groups, particularly. So I'm referring in this case in in marching band in particular. When you design shows and things like that, you're trying to talk about how we can keep the audience's attention, how you can draw them in, how you can keep them engaged. And one of the ways that you do that is by going from, you know, really, really high impact moments to super soft, quiet moments. And it just keeps that that listener very, very engaged in what's happening from a musical and from an artistic standpoint. And they <laughs> this is so well done in this section. We go from this one, this big bang, bang, dum, tugga, 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 and then with the crazy, weird guitar stuff going on, too. <laughs> these, these crazy things that are happening and then we go to this just super somber quiet beautiful section it's just so well done and what i love about it is that you know <laughs> that we're gonna get back into the crazy raging section again and you just you kind of can't wait to get there it's so cool he's so quiet there too That might I add as well, guys. So anyone that has that does any kind of wind stuff, whether it be singing, uh, wind instruments, anything that involves your your air, your breathing, to go from extremely loud dynamics like he did in the bang bang section, and then to this where this is just like a whisper, a whisper thing like that that's so quiet like that, like that takes an incredible amount of control from a breathing standpoint, from a breath control standpoint, to be able to do that. Like, this guy, this guy is such a good singer. He really has some amazing, amazing vocals. Clean, clear, cr incredible diction, and now he's just showing off this incredible breath control that he has with his dynamics. So good. What a song that and that that vocal melody. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. That's such a cool little riff too. Like it just makes you immediately want to sing that. It's super catchy. What a cool song. I, I so I've never heard this one before, guys. I actually, I so I'm pretty sure that came that was used in a movie. I don't know what movie it is. It's featuring Vin Diesel clearly, uh, but I've never seen it. I'm guessing it's from one of his like Triple X series or something. I've actually never seen those movies, so I've never heard this song before. But uh, I really like it. Like, I would, dare I say, oh, there's going to probably be a little bit of a controversial comment, guys. <laughs> but dare I say, that might be the f my favorite song of theirs that I've heard so far. I really like that one. That was really, really cool. Very, very good. Uh, hopefully, you guys liked today's video as much as I did. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, and, of course, turn on notifications. Uh, last but not least, guys... If you want to continue your journey down that wonderful music rabbit hole that it is, guys, make sure you check out the next video.